Hello everyone. Welcome back to Maximum Automation. In this video today, I'm going to talk about how to run parallel test execution in PyTest framework. But before that, let's first discuss parallel execution. Parallel execution means running your test method or test script simultaneously. Means we are running more than one test method at the same time. Let's say if you have 100 test methods and by default when you execute your test then those tests will run in sequential mode where the test method runs one by one means a second test method will only start when the first test method execution is completed which makes the sequential execution approach very time consuming let's say if i have 10 test methods and each test method takes around approx 2 minutes to execute then in sequential mode this is going to take approx 20 minutes to run all the test methods but if i run all 10 test methods in parallel then all test methods are going to complete in approx 2 minutes which is going to save us approx 18 minutes of time so to reduce the execution time we can run our test methods in parallel now we know the benefit of parallel execution. So let's see how we can achieve parallel execution in PyTest framework. First of all, what we need to do is we have to install the PyTest Xtest plugin. That plugin extends PyTest framework with new test execution modes and helps in distributing tests across multiple CPUs. So this plugin is going to initiate different threads and will distribute the test methods among different threads. This is going to create the threads based on the number of CPUs available in the execution machine or the number of threads we have configured to run. So let's first download the plugin. And to do that, let's move to the settings. Then in settings, move to Python interpreter and then click on this plus icon here to add a new plugin. Then here you can type pytest xdist. This is the plugin which we wanted to install. You can see this plugin is used for distributed testing across multiple CPUs. So let's click on this to install the package. Once this will be installed, then we can distribute our test among multiple CPUs. You can see that the plugin is installed successfully. So let me close this one. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the terminal. Here to run the test methods using PyTest framework, what we need to do is we need to type the command PyTest. This command will run all the tests available in the framework, but in sequential mode. So let's say if I run this pytest command, here it collected five items as it found a total of five test methods. And now all test methods will be run one by one. So we can see it invoked a browser and the first test method is running. So the first test method got executed and we have got a dot for that. After this, the second test method is executing now. This is how all the test cases will execute in sequential mode. Another test method will only start when the first test method execution is completed. Now another test method is running. So this is how by default, PyTest runs the test method in sequential mode. Here we can see it executed all five test methods in sequential mode. Now, to run the test methods in parallel, what we need to do is we need to type the command PyTest and after that we need to provide a hyphen n. N is the number of threads we want to run or 
a number of workers we want to create. Each worker will run one test method. And once that worker will be free after running the test method, then that worker will be assigned with another test method to run. Here I have five test methods with me. And let's say I'm going to provide the number of workers as five. So all five test methods will run at the same time. You can see this plugin is used and it initializing the workers. Total five workers have been initialized and all those five workers will be running one test method in parallel. Now you can see multiple instances of browsers are invoked at the same time and executing all our five test methods in parallel. You can see the execution is done and all test methods are passed. Test methods got executed using five workers because I have provided the number of workers as five. Another option that we can provide for the number of worker is auto. When we provide the value as auto, then this is going to create the number of workers based on the number of CPUs available on your system. Let's say if you have two CPUs available in your machine, then it will create two workers. And if you have four CPUs in your machine, then it is going to create four workers. Now let me run this command to see how many workers it is going to create in my case. You can see that it has created eight workers because I have eight CPUs available in my machine. So this is going to create eight workers, though I don't have eight methods to run on eight workers. Only five workers will be busy executing the test method, while the rest three will be in idle state. Because I don't have any more test methods to assign those test methods for execution to these extra three workers. So this auto command will create the number of workers automatically based on the number of CPUs you have available on your system. This is how you can run your test in parallel in PyTest framework. Thank you for watching. I hope you like this video. Please do not forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.